Thank you all very much for coming out to celebrate with us this morning. My story began in 2007 when I became a newly divorced mom, returning to the workforce during one of the worst job markets since the Great Depression. I had been employed since I was 13 years old and never thought that unemployment was even a possibility for me. Um, I had worked hard to keep my skills current. However, the marketplace changed very quickly and mid-level managers became unemployed in droves. After six months of looking and then a year, I joined the ranks of the so-called unemployable. I was lucky because I had savings and the opportunity to return to school to finish my degree and wait it out. I never expected that waiting it out would not work. Like so many people in this room, when I arrived at the year 2011 with my degree nearly completed and my savings running out, I was very disheartened by the continued lack of jobs or from another point of view, the multitude of jobs for which I was not qualified. It is difficult to me, for me to convey how frustrating and how demoralizing it is to be in the middle of life with the attached, all of the attached responsibilities and have no job, no benefits, and little hope of finding either. After countless applications and few interviews, a friend saw a poster for COIC, the Central Ohio One Stop Employment Services Provider. The staff and resources available at COIC were vastly helpful. After months of wandering through the baffling maze known as job hunting, COIC offered light and direction. Upon investigation of COIC's programs, I was referred to Logistics Art, and you might say that is when hope really returned. There is a lot of talk these days about jobs, about the economy, and about how to put so many disenfranchised people back to work. Of course, there is no one solution. But to be sure, programs such as the Logistics Art Joint Venture between the Department of Labor and Columbus State Community College should be a model. The problem is two-sided. On one side, there are many people out of work. On the other, there are many employers with open positions facing an under or misskilled workforce. It's like an ironic puzzle, but the good news is, at least for the logistic in industry in Columbus, Ohio, we have logistics art to make all the pieces fit. I can't say enough about the wonderful people at this program who give them of themselves tirelessly and from a pure heart of wanting to help others. The folks at COWIC, the staff and instructors at Logistics Art, the staff and trainers at ODW Logistics and Midwest Express Group, Everyone has been beyond helpful and caring. They and others like them are the solution to this challenge we face. Additionally, I have been very fortunate to share this experience with my husband, Wes, who was, has very similar sentiments about CSCC and the Logistics Art Program, and with my classmates, many of whom I now count as friends. Aside from the buzz about the job problem, there is also a lot of talk about funding job programs. A word about funding. How do we put a price on a person's dignity, on a person's feelings of competency and self-worth? A job is so many things, a roof over your head, food on the table, and health care for your family, to be sure. But a job is so much more. A job is an identity, a sense of accomplishment, and a chance to succeed. Having a job is having a voice and a seat at the table of life. What you have done here is maybe more than you will ever know. But most of all, it's an opportunity for all of us to do so much more. Thank you.